you'll be you'll feel you'll be feeling fine uh by the time Xeno starts. Or you can keep it going, you know. I'm not your mom. <laughs> Alright, so we got two well, I guess one semi expected character, but I did not expect to see uh, Zero to None going wolf. That's actually kinda nuts. But please give me a moment real quick. So yeah, this is Winter's Quarters, ah, lol, smaller bracket, Merry Christmas everybody. Sorry, I had to, you know, do my beginning of set uh, procedures. Anyway, so let's see what's happening here. Uh, so VV has already taken out Zero Dawn's first stock. Or did he SD? I don't think he SD. Uh, well, I, I guess I really wouldn't know, honestly. Anyway, so doing a pretty good job. Basically a full stock lead here. And wow, I've not seen up be used like that like on stage. That's actually not the worst idea because like even if you whiff you kind of like gtfo but like depending on who your opponent's character is it might be completely safe yeah let's go bb that's some pretty interesting tech right there but gonna take that sizzle to that reflected sizzle to the face uh and finally losing his first stock yes Proto, that is christmas bb um yeah, so let's see. VV trying to keep his ground, uh, just staying back. Like he got the stock lead, so he definitely has the ability to like kind of wait for it. Did that really reflect? It did because he got hit by it. So there was a chance that he would have killed himself. That's absolutely hilarious. That's the most what goes around comes around type thing I've ever seen. Good lord. Anyway. Alright, gonna eat that back air, but it's not gonna be enough. That, okay. So that Kaboom still killed him. Because even though he re he got it reflected, so he didn't get hit by the explosion, the wind pulled him all the way down. What was he gonna do? You know, he's uh, Wolf's up B does not go super far. So, yeah. All right, so we're just going to go back to PS2. And yeah, uh, sticking to our guns, man. Uh, wolf versus Hero. Extra will be frozen? Oh my god. All right, anyway. Game two, back to PS2. Uh, st sticking with Wolf. Let's see what goes. Let's see what happens. Let's see what Zero Nine is able to change and switch up. Pretty even percents right now. Ooh, uh, Vivi gets an all right uh, two hit string. Okay, all right. I really like this, kind of feeling each other out, not overextending, like going for safe swings and, uh, and just opting not to swing in general. Dead even percents right now. Okay, okay. All right, Vivi getting a little bit swing heavy there. Uh, and Zero Nun kind of waiting for it again to grab. Oop. Tried to drop shield and turn around grab, but didn't get that turnaround input. All right, let's see whose little blaster is better. Yeah, Philium Shift. Sinji does come to these. Uh, he's not, like, super regular because of school. Um, but when he can, he does show up. He's, he's a lot more likely to show up to the... Saturday events, the Xenosaga. Which, by the way, the next one is January 11th. So come check it out. Smash.gg slash Xenosaga. Sorry for the shill, but you know I gotta. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Alright. 
All right, so this time Zero Nine going to be taking that first stock. Now let's see how far he can carry this lead uh, before losing that um, first stock. 120 damage. He's going to have to be a little bit surgical in how he approaches. Ooh. Vivi is all Christmas colors right now. That's terrifying. Yep, the Christmas spirit carrying Zero to None all the way to the blast zone. Nothing he could do. He's got the power up. It's December 25th. What you going to do, huh? Okay, so even percents again. Second stock. Uh, the struggle continues for a lead. Imagine anti computing. Okay, gonna get him off. Side. Ooh. Ooh, almost got the edge guard there. Okay. Sending him off the top there. This is a pretty good lead, honestly. Hey, Dara, how are you? I am doing very well. Um, and so Zigatsidan, I saw him take the first stock on Vigi with his wolf, and that's really nice to see, especially considering, um, you know, just like how recent um, his wolf is and how yeah. he's just like picking him up. And Hugo's just like a really, really established character in Vivi's own small. Yeah, it's definitely just kind of something you Ooh. can expect from his repertoire in general. Uh, but yeah, Zero to None uh, lost game one as Wolf, but uh, is sticking it out. And now we see that he's in a bit of a lead here. Mm -hmm. uh, Vivi at almost knocking on Death's door right now with that percentage, but you know, going to take it a little oh. bit safe until one misstep and catching that up smash. Going to get oh, vacuum dimmed up off the top. Wait. And right now, I feel like Bounce just has so much stage presence in a Wolf matchup because, like, yeah. normally Wolf would be able to camp with his disjoints, with his lasers, but now that's just, like, one, like, fundamental option gone for a new kit. Yeah, something that we've seen a lot uh, this uh, this set is that anytime time Vivi opens the menu, Zero Nun kind of just opens up his own reflector. And so we saw, like, yeah. some magic just get bounced around until it disappeared. It's quite terrifying, honestly, for both of them. <laughs> Bounce. But I feel like if Vivi pulls out the menu in close range, he would have enough time to be able to punish um, Zero to not pull, pulling out Reflector if it just becomes like that strong of a habit in him. Mm -hmm. Oh nice. my god. Nice. Just going way too fast. And uh, yeah, so Vivi going to take that stock, uh, that, that set 2-0. Yeah, um, I mean, Zigatsunan was, like, starting to catch on, but when Hilo has Accelerator, you just have to recover, like, immediately. It's 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 so menacing to have a character with as giant of a disjoint as, yeah. um, you know, Hilo just to be, like, chasing you off stage like that. Yeah, absolutely. What are we got next?